Okay, so I wrote this article um, about why Jewish boys are the least dateable boys. They're mama's boys. They're weird with their dads. One time I like was like hooking up with this Jewish boy and um, I went back to his house and we were like eating in his kitchen and then like his dad came in to say goodnight and they kissed on the lips goodnight. And I was like, what? Like, what just happened? Like what just happened? So um, there were tons of hate comments. <laughs> A CI0616 wrote five reasons why Rachel Hoden is the least dateable girl, which I don't necessarily disagree with. Rachel Hoden is from a low class family and she has been having regular sex with her older brother since the age of 15. I don't have an older brother. <laughs> um, though he keeps impregnating her, she has insisted on aborting all of their deformed spawn. She is a regular at her local abortion clinic, where she is known colloquially as Ratchet Rach. First of all, I don't hate that name. See above article. That's right. <laughs> super original. CI016, super original. While we're on the subject of massive ignorant generalizations, let's look at her picture at the bottom of this poorly written, trashy and classless abomination. By her flannel hidden beneath all of her scarves. A, it's not a flannel, it's a gingham sleeve of a dress. We can safely conclude that she is a pretentious hipster, a wannabe writer whose career will probably start and end with Thought Catalog before she kills herself in her mother's basement where she no doubt currently resides. That's super, super bleak. <laughs> When Rachel Hoden was very young, her doctor noticed a fungus growing on the surface of and partly inside her vagina. The fungus started to grow and mutate into little troll-like creatures. When a man is so brave as to enter Rachel Hoden, that just sounds weird, as to enter Rachel Hoden, that's just gross, like my parents aren't gonna enjoy me reading that part. A selfless act usually made from the lower depths of pity, wrong. He must be careful that the pussy trolls are sleeping or else they can and will bite his penis off and eat it. As evidenced by her blindingly pale skin in her profile picture, which I indeed do have, and I've worked really hard on it, between keeping her pussy trolls in order, feeds on the blood of innocent newborn babies, absolutely, or maybe she just shoots a lot of heroin. No, definitely not. This comment sucks. <laughs> Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da.